VXLAN OAM, or Operations Administration and Management, is a key differentiator for our standalone VXLAN-based fabrics. It provides a simple and comprehensive solution to address the visibility and troubleshooting challenges introduced through overlays. VXLAN OAM delivers carrier-grade fault management. It has the ability to check the liveliness of the end host and it provides options for users to specify payload parameters. The OAM traffic probes cover the exact same path as data traffic going over the fabric. The path trace tool provides enhanced visibility of the underlay. The OAM toolset provides support for proactive monitoring and a programmatic interface for invocation by management. In summary, the OAM packet takes the exact path that the real data traffic takes in the fabric and provides visibility of the underlay and overlay and the host. I have a host 200 200 210, but where in the network is it? The trace route gives me just any CAS IP. What if I need to know about the host from the leaf? What if I have ECMP paths? How do I know which path the packet is taking? The answer to all of these questions is VXLAN OAM Endpoint Locator and Tracer. First, let's ping the host. Now, let's trace a path to the host from L1. The trace route provides the underlay spine and overlay terminating leaf information. Now let's do a path trace for enhanced visibility for the underlay overlay leaf. NGOAM allows the user to specify the traffic flow, so OAM traffic takes the same path as data traffic. In this example, end-to-end -end traffic flow is specified. Path trace to the host can be done without specifying the peer IP information, so that is why we're using a non-keyword. Path trace provides ingress egress interface information of the path. To get more visibility in the network, you should do path trace with the request stats keyword. Using the request stats keyword, you can do a show NGOAM path trace database session, session ID, and detail command, and this will provide you with more detail of the whole path. VXLAN OAM can be extended to do topology discovery and overlay health monitoring. In this animation, the server controller, which uses NX API to get the VRF, VTAP, and VNIs information, generates the path trace request and each of the nodes will send a path trace reply to the controller. Once the request reaches the end leaf, the controller will again query whether there are any more VTEPs and VNIs there or not. If there are, then it will again generate more path trace requests for other data path VNIs. This process will keep on going for all the source ports until unless everything is verified in the data path. All ECMP paths are discovered by sending packets on different source ports. The Python controller is getting started. Notice that it begins discovering the switches and then starts generating the path trace. This will continue for all the source ports throughout the network and it will try to discover the complete topology in the data path for all the VNIs and all the ECMP paths. The topology discovery is complete and now let's try to shut down an interface. The interface we are shutting down is shown in the animation. Once the interface turns green, that means it is losing packets and the interface is shut down. For more information, please see the VXLAN Operations Administration and Management White Paper.